CBS News correspondent Brooke Silva Braga joins me now from London. Brooke, what's the latest? Uh, well, hello, Meg. Uh, the very latest is that, uh, as you mentioned, May and Khan have both come by. Just moments ago, uh, Jeremy Corbyn, the opposition leader, the Labor Party leader, who actually is the local politician uh, for this area, the local representative, he came through to a chorus of cheers, uh, slaps on the van as it pulled away. He's quite popular here. Uh, as you can see, the, the streets uh, surrounding the mosque have all been cordoned off. Uh, the police investigation continues. We don't know a ton uh, about that 48-year-old suspect. We know that he's described as a white male and as you pointed out a uh, no known record to authorities and there are also you know quite disturbing descriptions from eyewitnesses at the time of the attack when he was pulled out of the van that he was uh, shouting things to the effect of or this is a direct quote from one witness I want to kill all Muslims. Brooke we heard from Mayor Sadiq Khan say that we are going to see an increased police presence around the area especially in the final days of Ramadan. What else are they doing to beef up security. Uh, well, obviously, not all of it is visible, but uh, what we heard from the mayor was that not just here, obviously, there's a major police uh, presence here, but at mosques throughout the city, there will be an increased police presence. There is, frankly, uh, Meg, a lot of tension here and in, in the Muslim community in London who feel like the immediate response to the attack uh, late last night or early this morning was not what they would hope for, uh, with some concerns that it was not called terrorism immediately, uh, even though it was on a house of worship by what seemed like a, a a malicious actor. And so uh, in addition to the overt police uh, efforts, there's also kind of a hearts and minds effort. You see Theresa May, who was very slow to um, come to that uh, fire at the apartment building uh, last week, came immediately just within hours of the attack to show her support here. Brooke, it has been a, a tough stretch, to say the least, for the people of London. How are people there reacting to yet another violent attack? Well, London, of course, is a very big city. So what is a heartbreaking personal loss for one community is something felt at more of a distance to another part of the city. You know, driving here this morning, we uh, passed the building that was burned out a few days ago, as I, as I just mentioned. And in that community, uh, it's felt, you know, very acutely that uh, 76 people died. In this community today, uh, this is, is certainly felt very acutely. But in the city as a whole, it's remarkable the extent to which London, that, which has now dealt with so many of these so recently, continues going on almost as normal throughout most of the city. All right. Brooke Silva Braga in London for us. Thank you.